The deeper we dive into the mysteries of 3i Atlas, the more we find ourselves trapped in an endless cosmic maze. Humanity's sharpest eyes have already locked onto this interstellar visitor, as if that alone wasn't enough. Yet, just when the story seemed overwhelming, the sudden arrival of C-2025-R2 has made the unfolding drama feel more intense, more suffocating than ever before. On September 11, 2025, the SWAN instrument aboard the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, spacecraft detected the presence of a new comet. Officially designated C-2025-R2, and initially nicknamed Swan R2, it had actually been within 30 degrees of the Sun from August 8th to September 13th, 2025. Yet because of its extreme proximity to the Sun, most telescopes were unable to observe it. Calculations suggest it will reach perihelion in October 2025, passing at a distance of about 75 million kilometers from the Sun. What impressed astronomers the most was its striking appearance, a tail stretching two and a half degrees across the sky, completely dwarfing the tiny one recently formed by 3I Atlas. By brightness and size alone, Swan R2 appears more than a hundred times greater, hurtling straight toward the Sun. As it drew closer, Swan R2 erupted with blinding brilliance, glowing in shades of white and green. Surrounding it was not the usual cloud of icy debris, but rather a massive silver plasma shield, a living electromagnetic barrier strong enough to bend solar wind and deflect radiation. Its emissions were equally bizarre. Plasma nickel, dense iron, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide a chemical footprint that seemed almost artificial. Most astonishing of all, its core was measured to generate 10,000 gigawatts per second, a thousand times more than 3i Atlas. And the greatest shock? NASA confirmed Swan R2 follows a strict orbital cycle, returning to Earth's neighborhood once every 22,554 years. Its sudden arrival, just as 3i Atlas was accelerating toward the Sun, seemed far too coincidental. In his latest paper, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb posed a daring question. Could the two objects share the same origin? Yet orbital analysis by expert Peter Veres ruled that out. Swan R2 emerged from the direction of Aquarius, while 3i Atlas came from Sagittarius, two points separated by tens of degrees in the sky. So why did they converge toward the Sun at nearly the same time? This has sparked dramatic speculation. Perhaps Swan R2 and 3i Atlas are not independent wanderers at all, but two parts of a far larger design, a mothership and a probe. Smaller and weaker, 3i Atlas could easily be a reconnaissance craft launched by the vast system that is Swan R2. Its perfectly timed 22,500-year cycle makes it feel less like coincidence and more like an intentional schedule. If so, its solar passage may not be a random orbit but rather a kind of maintenance cycle, drawing in superheated plasma as fuel, recalibrating vast hidden sensor networks around the planets, or exchanging data with secret relay stations buried deep within the asteroid belt. And when comparing the energy outputs, the mystery deepens. Swan R2's core releases power thousands of times greater than 3i Atlas, a figure that defies every natural law we know. Perhaps Swan R2 and 3i Atlas are not just celestial phenomena for us to observe. They may be signals, messages written across the stars, reminding humanity that we are not alone in this universe. Strange overlapping signals kept hinting that 3i Atlas might be bending the solar wind itself. Just when Atlas seemed to be fading back into normality, its bizarre coma structures, unpredictable orbit, and unusual chemistry dismissed as rare coincidences. A shocking twist arrived. Three separate solar observatories picked up perfectly synchronized anomalies, raising the possibility that Atlas might be anything but natural. At 0803 UTC on August 18th, SOHO detected a strange bow-shaped structure 
forming in the solar wind just downstream of Atlas's orbit. Two minutes later, Parker Solar Probe recorded a sudden, powerful spike in local magnetic intensity, accompanied by an abnormal gradient unlike anything in its baseline. Finally, at 8.11 UTC, MAVEN observed a deflection in high-energy particles. The coordinates it logged matched Atlas's trajectory down to the decimal point. For years, these missions have quietly monitored the Sun from vantage points scattered across the solar system. The odds of all three randomly recording the same event, at the same location, at the same time, are practically zero. Coincidence no longer holds weight. The discovery triggered an emergency meeting at NASA, uniting mission leads from SOHO, Parker, MAVEN, along with JPL's data directors. All possibilities of instrument error were ruled out. The data was real. The very idea that a cosmic rock could pierce, or even resist, the crushing force of the solar wind borders on the unimaginable. To achieve such a feat, an object must satisfy three strict conditions. First, a powerful magnetic field. Earth is the prime example, shielded by a vast magnetosphere an invisible barrier that deflects most charged particles hurled at us by solar storms. Thanks to this defense, our atmosphere and surface remain intact despite the sun's violent outbursts. Second, a thick atmosphere. It doesn't just absorb but also weakens the onslaught of high-energy particles before they can reach the ground. Mars offers the cautionary tale. Once home to oceans and a dense atmosphere, the red planet lost its magnetic field. The solar wind stripped away its outer layers of air, leaving behind a barren, lifeless world. Third, sheer size and mass. Only giant planets can sustain an atmosphere and drive the molten metal core dynamics needed to generate a lasting magnetic shield. By contrast, small bodies like asteroids and comets, lacking both strong magnetism and protective atmospheres, are shredded by the solar wind. Their tails are stretched, twisted, or erased entirely during violent solar outbursts. And yet, 3i Atlas appears to defy all of these rules. Recall Gemini South's data. A massive tail was observed, making Atlas look increasingly like a normal comet. But here lies the paradox. If Atlas really were just a comet, it could never survive a direct plunge into the solar wind. Its icy surface should sublimate, its tail distorted, fragmented, or blown away completely by coronal mass ejections. In other words, comets don't cut through the solar wind. They are carved apart by it. So how can an interstellar comet do what every known comet in our solar system utterly fails to achieve? Three independent streams of evidence, three separate instruments, yet all converge on the same unavoidable conclusion. This interstellar object has generated an effect previously thought possible only around the giant planets. Still, the gap between raw data and scientific explanation remains. At JPL, caution dominates. Their stance, Atlas cannot possibly carry a magnetic field as strong as Earth's. It lacks a molten, spinning core capable of powering a dynamo. For them, the anomalies are nothing more than thin plasma clouds, blown around as solar wind collides with Atlas's dusty outer shell. But at MIT, a bolder theory has emerged. Some scientists suggest Atlas may have once drifted through the shockwaves of an ancient supernova. In doing so, it could have absorbed a colossal remnant of magnetic energy, enough to leave behind a magnetized shell surrounding its surface. If true, this fossil field might act like an invisible shield, allowing Atlas to bend the solar wind like a miniature planet. It sounds like science fiction, but it forces us to think differently. If Atlas truly carries the magnetic scar of a catastrophe millions of years old, then it isn't just a random passerby between the stars. It is a messenger, branded with the signature of cosmic events far beyond human reach. But this is only the beginning. 3i Atlas is not slowing down, it's accelerating. 
When it was first discovered, its velocity was around 61 kilometers per second. Now it has surged to 87 kilometers per second. To put that into perspective, at that speed, it would take just 74 minutes to travel from Earth to the moon, so fast that even SpaceX's Starship, humanity's most advanced spacecraft, could hardly keep up. According to the latest orbital analysis, on September 26, 2025, three I Atlas will swing past Mars at a distance of only 1.95 million kilometers, a razor-thin margin on the scale of the cosmos. At such close range, Mars's gravity could easily perturb its orbit. And with just an extra 10 kilometers per second boost, Atlas could tilt its trajectory enough to turn a near miss into a direct collision within mere weeks. In principle, any body passing close to the Sun, Jupiter, or Mars can have its path slightly altered by gravity. But those changes are usually tiny, accumulating slowly over time. Atlas, however, is writing a script unlike anything ever recorded. Studies show it is venting carbon dioxide at astonishing rates. Even more puzzling, its cyanide and nickel levels are surging, yet with no trace of iron. Its water content is shockingly low, just one-eighth the amount of CO2. But the most jaw-dropping discovery is this. A rhythmic release cycle, pulsing every 17 minutes with clockwork precision. Unlike the random outgassing typical of comets, Atlas seems to be firing controlled jets of gas, as if it were a spacecraft making course corrections. These perfectly timed bursts have produced a steady acceleration, nudging it closer and closer toward Mars's orbit. If this controlled propulsion continues, Atlas could skim within 50,000 kilometers of the red planet, closer than some of Mars's own tiny moons, which means just a little more thrust could transform a harmless flyby into a deliberate impact. And most disturbing of all, it appears to be doing this with a propulsion system under intelligent control, behaving less like a comet and more like a colossal self-guided rocket. In such a scenario, the goal might not be destruction at all, but deployment. A perfectly calculated touchdown, placing some kind of device on the Martian surface without obliterating the planet. If true, this would mark one of the most enigmatic missions ever carried out in the history of the universe, a mission humanity is only now realizing it has the privilege to witness. So perhaps what we are witnessing is not a threat, but a message. A message delivered to humanity in the form of a massive interstellar object. Mysterious, dangerous, but purposeful. Could 3i Atlas truly be the emissary of an alien civilization? A reconnaissance craft conducting observations at the very edge of our solar system? Or are these anomalies simply nature's tricks, breaking every rule science thought it understood? The answer may soon reveal itself as Atlas draws closer to Mars than ever before. Until then, all of humanity can only watch, waiting for the historic moment when the final secret of 3i Atlas is unveiled.